So this morning I want to talk to you guys about my good friend Maya who is a painter and she's just starting out and I've been giving her some business advice and I wanted to talk to you guys about what I've been telling her because I think it's applicable to not only her but a lot of small businesses. So here are a couple of her paintings to give you an idea of her work. Here we go. So the first thing that I told her to do which was really important is to create an Etsy account. Now if you don't know what Etsy is, uh, check it out, E-T-S-Y dot com. It's this really great community of artists and what Etsy has done is built a platform that made it really easy for artists to sell their work online. So that's the first thing. And then after that, you know, it's like, okay, I set up my Etsy account, now what do I do? She should concentrate on Facebook, Facebook. She should concentrate on Facebook, just being more active and engaging and trying to use your friends to help promote you. So ask your friends to, you know, send friend suggestions. Ask them to create, um, ask them to post on their profiles. If she asked me, I for sure would. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of her other friends would as well. Another thing that I think she needs to do is use the Facebook page to better kind of um, show her work. One of the things that you can do with Facebook is is dictate which page a new user comes to when they when they come to your Facebook for the first time. So most people have it set as default to the wall, uh, but in this case, I would probably have it set to set to a tab um, that showcases her most recent work with a link to where you can buy it and also a little share icon. I think you know seeing that I'd be really impressed. This is, uh, this is basically what I'm talking about, albeit for another client. Um, anyways, so that's what I would do with Facebook. I would also I would also spend some money on Facebook advertising. I would advertise to people in Boulder. The second thing that I would do is I would reach out to bloggers. I think that she could do really well um, in the blog world. And if she really wants a good chance to be featured, she would say, and I want to give you uh, a print or two if you want to give it away to one of your readers because there's nothing that mommy bloggers love more than giveaways. They're always trying to do giveaways um, so they can get their comment count up so they can feel like they're giving something back to their readers for reading their blog. I think if she were to do those two things, grow the Facebook uh, and have it be more active and then also to do some online PR to these bloggers that she would really sell a lot of prints. So that's her motto, but really this motto transfers over to a lot of small businesses, whether you're an artist or not. I think these are two really powerful mediums, both Facebook and online PR, getting in touch with these bloggers. And if you aren't doing either of these things, then you might be missing out. Uh, you know, Facebook, in terms of driving traffic, building a community, it's probably the best platform. Um, reaching out to bloggers, you're kind of expanding your scope, your definitely generating a lot of inbound links which is really good for search engine optimization as well as just driving traffic and you'll be building up some really uh, some really great connections that will help you out so I would definitely advise you to try these two things if you haven't already done so if you have any questions uh, leave me a comment and I will absolutely answer you